whenever you start this process and journey, always look for yourself first before you start looking for your other half. To understand who you're compatible with, it is important to first understand who you are and roughly where you're going in your life. Understanding and finding yourself means understanding what is important and core to you. These are the values by which you lead your life. Values that are so important to you that if someone was to take or force them away from you, it would cause you deep emotional conflict and break you as a person. Marrying someone who may share very different core values is often one of the root causes of marriage breakups. Always review your social media presence and profile and all your posts and photos that are out in the public domain. When we're searching and researching about our potential spouses, the lens which we use to look through the recommendations is a very unforgiving, critical lens. We look with the eye of a hawk, looking for any flaw in the information that is available out there. We're instinctively, unconsciously and unrealistically seeking perfection because of the gravity of the decision. Whoever you propose to will stalk your social media profile and may find something that doesn't really represent you out of context and judge you based on that. It only takes one post, one comment or one photo to turn down a potential match or a meeting. How you perceive marriage and the purpose of marriage will be a very strong determinant in who you want to share your life with. If you perceive marriage to be a deep process of nurturing, developing and growing each other's soul and character, then you will pick a companion accordingly. Someone that you can connect with deeply, emotionally and spiritually. However, if you perceive marriage to be primarily the process of meeting and developing your intense, physical and outward needs, then you'll pick a partner accordingly. Someone that you connect with, the eye and the body only. A wise person once told me, the great sex does not make a great marriage, but a great marriage makes great sex. And a great marriage is one of deep friendship, where the deep emotional bond leads to an intense physical bond. It is the difference between sex and making love. Always remember to turn to God before you begin the search, during the search and after you found your other half. Ask God sincerely that he not only blesses you from his grace and his bounties, but also gives you the peace of heart when you find the right person. Good luck and all the best.